Hi guys, John here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. So, uh, last time we arrived in Vizima and um, we've just been kind of exploring. We've done a few quests. We got, we got a bloke killed and really uh, upset his brother-in-law. Um, and now that we've uh, done that, we're going to make our way to the inn at the crossroads hey, and... Uh, See if we can find out where this spy of the emperors is so that we can get some information on Siri. Um, actually, before we do that, one thing I want to check. We've got any new entries to read? Yes, we have. We've got a new necrophage entry. Rot fiends. Corset rigs. I think they're called rot fiends because they smell of roses. Vesemir, which of the wolf school? Ah, Vesemir. Rot fiends resemble decomposing human bodies that have been stripped of their skin. Their presence is given away by the overwhelming stench of the rot that gives them their name. Devourers are a particularly dangerous kind of rot fiend, marked with an insatiable appetite for human flesh. That sounds delightful. We've got any new character entries? No, I didn't think so. And what about alchemy? Nothing we can make. Okay. Without further ado, let's move on. Go, go. Might help if we get on the road. All these hung bodies everywhere. What a wonderful place to live this is. Oh, don't you go crossing the roads, dear. Wouldn't want to run you down. Actually, I'm not sure I could run you down if I wanted to. Oh, hang on, what we got here? Come we have on, ourselves man. a quest marker. Hey, dog. <laughs> Bye, dog. Roasted a dog. Must have been pretty darn hungry. Jeez, roasted and ate a dog. Come out. I'm not gonna hurt you. When did you last eat? A week back. Half a charred squirrel and a handful of berries. What about that dog? Uh, why aren't you with your parents? Why are you out here alone? Where are your parents? Blackens killed some of them. Others kicked us out themselves. Too many mouths to feed, they said. Ah. Well, here, uh, let me give you some food. Here. Be sure to share it with the others. Thank you. Here, for you. For your kindness. What did she give us? A doll. Thanks. And a book in beast clothing. Ah, we've got some bestiary entries now. Okay, let's, uh, let's read this first. They entered his hut and began to search. First they tore through his bed. Dried twigs covered the sheet. That was the first proof. For werewolves return at dawn after a night of hunting, their bare feet covered in the forest droppings. They found the second proof under his bed, a wolf's hide. The werewolf surely dressed himself in it when transforming with the setting sun and shed it again when he turned to man the next day. I'm not sure that's how it works. Having found these powerful proofs, they ceased deliberation and began the hunt, vowing to find the lycanthrope and bind him in silver chains. So what did that give us here? Are presumably werewolves. Werewolves and Ulfen, Ulfedin start this. Wolves aren't as bad as they're made out to be. Werewolves, though, they're every bit as bad and worse. Elsa Vilge Archer. Werewolves are creatures with both men and wolves inside them. When in beastly form, they take the worst traits from each. 
the wolf's drive to kill and hunger for raw flesh, and the man's cruel and calculating intelligence. A werewolf's condition comes about through a curse, and the transformations happen outside his conscious control. When he reverts to human form, he has no memory of his deeds, otherwise he would surely go mad and take his own life. Well, didn't mean to do that. Werewolves are active at night, particularly when the moon is full. Though they hunt alone, when threatened, they will summon wolves to aid them. Werewolves rarely feel the need to flee, for few adversaries put up much of a fight against them. They strike as swiftly as lightning with claws sharp as razors and regenerate any damage received in mere moments. When fighting werewolves, a witcher should wield a blade covered in oil harmful to the cursed and have a large supply of devil's puffballs handy. A werewolf's curse can at times be lifted, yet there is no universal surefire method for doing this. A witcher seeking to undertake such a task must therefore equip himself with a great deal of patience and sturdy armour. Okay. And Ulf Ulfadin. Ulfadin? What's that? Some kind of fish? Professor Artibus Johannes Rax, geographer, disappeared during a surveying expedition in Skellige. Ulfadin are a breed of werewolf found mainly in Skellige. Okay, that answers that question. The harsh and barren conditions of the Isles might explain why they primarily hunt men and are stronger than their continental brethren. Older and particularly dangerous Ulfadin are called Vorofs. Only a few daring warriors in all of Skellige history have managed to defeat an Ulfadin, and each of them is commemorated in ballads as a hero to this day. Like werewolves, Ulfadin and Vorofs are active at night, particularly when the moon is at its fullest. Fast, strong and amazingly resilient, these creatures kill with disturbing ease. Silver blades should be brought against them, as should Devil's Puffball. Take note that when near death, an Ulfadun becomes particularly dangerous and will attack with doubled fury while calling on wolves to come to its rescue. Skellige wolves at that, presumably, making them even more lethal. Ah, oh, we've got a werewolf decoction page as well. Good, good, good. See, when these bestiary entries come up, or when the um, character entry updates come up, I wish there was a way to press R3 to go straight to it and read it, like there is when you get a book, or a note, or whatever. Otherwise, if you're in the middle of something, you've got to remember to read it. If you want to read it, I suppose. Hang on a minute. Thought I'd stolen everything. I had not. Oh, there's more around here. What am I stuck on? A wall. No, nothing in those barrels. Okay. Fine. Get these while I'm here. All right, come on then, Roach. Can you kill the monster? Get here. Whoa there, Roach. What was that? I can hear it. Oh, it's a necker. Uh, that's ogrid oil. Have we got that? Oops. We have not. We're just going to have to make do. Um. Come to Geralt. Stop running away. Or have you not seen this yet? Never mind. Oh, where did you come from? Jesus, I didn't know he had a mate. Must have been hiding underground or something. Is 
Now I notice our deto de <coughs> excuse me, our decoction has worn off. So I'm gonna have to meditate and reapply that at some point. Hopefully we'll uh, be able to do it before we enter into a big battle. Load of drowners over there, let's just stay out of their way for now. Alright, so here we are. Slow now, whoa. They'll kill us and take her all the same. So I'll slaughter her myself. Hide her corpse neath the floorboards. Those bastards won't have her. Wow. Man really likes his pig. Definitely something going on here. Right, let's have a look at the notice board. A warning. In lonely woods, screams carry long. Shadows creep far in deep dark dale. Beware ye then the grows wild song, or in the wild will end your tale. Notice. Consider yourself informed. Every man with a producing milch cow is obliged to bring it to Crow's Perch afore the week's end. After that, we find a cow in any man's yard We'll give him 50 lashes on the spot. The man, not the cow. <laughs> and take all other goods of his we can carry. Anyone reporting a man hiding a cow will get a sack of grain as a reward. Sergeant Ardle. From the innkeep. You'll buy your drinks at the inn of the crossroads with no big red crowns. We take no other coin. We don't do tabs either. Nor exchanges save for eat or drink. If anyone doesn't like that, they can go and rut for acorns. <laughs> Warning, what would you say the trees have ears? A kind stranger. Missing, Mikkel. A true born brother, Mikkel, is missing. Anyone who finds him, or at least finds out what fate has met him, will be generously rewarded. And I'll slip a good word to the Baron about you as well. You'll find me at the Inn at the Crossroads, Bruno. Sounds like a contract to me. Darlene and said, Neen Evelyn Squirtel Mile, come up World Hall and Saint. Dargan Fod and Unidad Ninu, Gimlada Dwan Ested Esse Kessa. No idea what that said. But I suspect that was the point. See that mechanic. You press R three and you get to read it. It is a contract. I was right. That'd be a lot easier if that was Im implemented for the bestiary and the uh, character updates as well. Okay, ask about the agent called Hendrik at the Inn of the Crossroads. Wait, you two. Do you know anything? Pour me another, love. You've had enough. No wench will ration my vodka, poor damn it, for ye taste the back of me hand. What do ye want? To punch you in the face, for one thing. But, keep it civil. What can you tell me about this region? Who rules this land now? Baron does. By whose decree? Temerian or Nilfgaardian? Uh, by his own. War's on. You got the men, you take the land. Why are you so curious, eh? You're not Hendrik, are you? You, Hendrik. <laughs> no. Don't narrow with that one. It'll bring trouble. You had to look, for, look to her for confirmation. You weren't sure. <laughs> uh, I've had enough of this. So long. High time we went home. We'll go once I've drunk. Nice shoes, by the way, mate. Did you weave them yourself? Innkeep. Let's talk. 
Looking for a man. Goes by Hendrik. What do you want with him? Want to talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. Oh, now you want to leave? You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. Uh, expecting visitors? Got company. Who is it? In Cape, Vorka. Who's this? In? Brave warrior, looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers too. You nice. fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? Uh, let's try and keep this calm. How about I buy everybody around? Why would you? Got the coin for it. Simple as that. I don't drink with strangers. When we share a round, won't be strangers anymore. Then we go our separate ways. And which way might yours be? Heading to Novigrad will do. I will be getting there eventually. On my way to Novigrad. City of whores and whoremongers. Who are you? Who are you? Oh, I. And why do you care? Like to know I'm drinking with, same as you. Like to know who I'm drinking with. There we go. <laughs> Just like you. We're the Baron's men. And you're in his land. Who's this Baron? A Baron holds these lands? Must be quite a man. Doesn't seem to care a lick about all the Imperials here. More and more arriving too. Bloody Baron's not some poncy prick son of a rich lord. So no, he's not allowed to piss his britches at the sight of a black-winged head. But this is interesting stuff. Our Baron's Baron, because that's the way we want it. And if that strikes anyone as wrong, well, we encourage them to speak their mind. Is that right? Cheers, then. To your health and mine. Bottoms up. If you want to rest, come with me. Or the bench you can use. I step in the hut, and there's the bumpkin with what looks like his son. That's on the pretty side, I think of himself. I see probably disguised his daughter. <laughs> right, where were we? Thanks for not starting a row with those swine. I don't generally poke my nose in other people's business. Looking to stay the night? No. Huh. I'm looking for Hendrik. Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? What do you know about Hendrik? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, but he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inkeep. That's quite a useful talent, I would have thought. Okay, so we need to go to Heatherton. Ah, first of all, here's Bruno. Let's talk to him about his brother. Yeah, that pipe will kill you, mate. A witcher? And not a second too soon. I'm here about the contract. I understand you have a contract for me. Oi, it's my brother Mikkel. Been a week now since he took the women of Bellows into the hills. The women of Bellows? Bellows were a rich village. Till the war passed through. Huts were burned down, larders cleared out. All the menfolk conscripted. Women were left to fend for themselves, without food nor shelter. No one wanted them. Redanians wouldn't let them into Novigrad. So Mikkel took them to the old mines. Get them out of the rain, at least. 
and I've not had word from him since. Uh, let's talk about the reward. Could look into it, if you paid me more. Well, 280 is pretty good, actually. Um, let's go... 320. All right, my brother's life's at stake, so I okay. can't skimp. It's a deal. All right, I'll look for your brother. All right, I'll look for your brother. How will I recognize him? Shouldn't be hard. He was the only lad in a group of women. Corpses aren't always in a condition where I can determine the sex. Corpses? Take it back. They got lost is all. But if worse comes to worst, well, he had calfskin ankle boots, work of Master Clogs. Told him not to wear them into the hills. He'd only ruin them. But he was so proud of them. Think I know enough. Thanks. Besides which, you'd think he was the only man in a group of women at the time that he left. That might not necessarily be the case now. Dead or alive. Okay, well, let's have a look at that quest. Uh, oh, wow. Level 33. Um, yeah, that's a long, long way off. Uh, two horses and none of them are roach. Oh, there he is. Look for the agent called Faster. Hendrick in the village of hey Heatherton, which is this way. Well, oh, these guys are nice. So the Baron's men are bullies, basically. Armed bullies, but bullies nonetheless. And he doesn't seem to mind them raping and pillaging all over the land. Fantastic. Can't wait to meet him. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, we had some bandits on our hands then, but no, it's just some people so uh, fast, trying, I think. Okay. Leave you to your thoughts. This is taking too long. Let's speed it up a bit. Oops. Scared a load of crows. Oh, is that it there? Oh, hang on, what am I stuck on? There we go. Move it. Roach, we need to talk, mate. What's the problem here? Oh, fine, I'm going for it. We will talk about this later, though. Might as well make myself useful and pick up some herbs on the way. Have rabid dogs. Show me what you got. Only level two should be easy. How did you survive that? Jeez. Oh, he got me. Be gone. Leave me be, whoever you is. Get away. Calm down. It's over.
Aye, it's over. All's past, never to be restored. I'll not forget that ever. Looking for a man named Hendrik, supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd have heard the cries, sir. If you'd have heard how a man can scream. How he can suffer. Tell me what happened. Tell me what happened here, step by step. They took him. Took him all. The sun was waning, see, and the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself, strange, the toads, I cannot hear them. through and through. Hendrik screamed. Then he begged. By the end, he could do naught but moan. These guys again. Just wonderful. Weren't here long, the terrors. Yet the village froze like in the heart of winter. You in that hut when they rode off? No. And I'll not set foot there. Never. Farewell. And peace of mind to you. <laughs> so it looks like the wild hunt got here first. Well, it does kind of raise the question, how did they know? Now, how did you do that? Hmm? I thought you were stuck on a tree. So I guess Hendrik's hut is over here then. Oh yeah, we've got something to investigate. Let's have a look. Traces of ice around the footprints. Really? Yeah, that's the point actually. I was just thinking that when we were watching the cutscene. So they set fire to the village and then they froze it. Thereby putting out the fire. Bit counterproductive I would have thought. Ah, Hendrik, I assume. Tortured him. Maybe they missed something. Let's search his trousers. Need Watch to check our hands his afterwards. <laughs> trousers are stiff, as if hung out to dry midwinter. About his jerkin? Maybe hid something in his jerkin. Damn. He's cold as ice. Nothing here. Then I'm guessing he's got something in his boots. Should check his boots. Blood. Congealed. Key hidden in his boot. Gotta fit a keyhole. Somewhere nearby, hopefully.
Under there, maybe? There's a draft. Gotta be a space under this rubble. Guess I should do some cleaning. Oh, don't do that. Oh, wasn't worth it anyway. Missing Tamara Stringer, daughter of the Bloody Baron. Presumed kidnapped. Hearty reward for whoever finds her and brings her in. Valuables left unlocked, on display, almost. Lost his mind, or... Hmm. Interesting. Secret compartment inside the hit secret basement. Yeah, this guy was definitely a spy. A ledger. Payment for a sack of grain. Amount due for a charcoal shipment. Hendrick was masquerading as a merchant. Hmm, what's this? Notes among the ledger entries. Clever. Interesting headings. Okay, let's start at the top and work our way down, I suppose. Missing and wanted. Missing and wanted. Subject appeared in Skellige. Also sighted in Novigrad. Appearance unchanged. Ashen hair. Scar on her face. Avoids contact with others. Well, we did hear that uh, Siri had been sighted in Novigrad and Yennefer went to Skelliger on the suspicion that she might have been there as well. Drunken Swine. Drunken Swine. So-called Baron hosted subject at his castle. Or should I say, illegally appropriated fort. Reason unknown. Talk to Baron at Crow's Perch. So, Siri's uh, encountered the Baron at some point. Clash with a witch. Clashed with a witch. Subject landed in swamp. Encountered a witch. Conflict ensued. Cause unknown. Find the witch. Talk to the peasantry. Village of Midcops. Okay. And lastly, caution advised. Caution advised. I'm being observed. Don't know by whom or why. Unsettling signs. Dog ran off. Water in bucket froze solid. Strange glow observed in the sky. Ill omen, peasants say. Somehow they learned Hendrik was looking for Siri. Thus the torture. Yes, but how? I'm too late. My only leads, the Baron, and some witch. Damn. Well, that's two more leads than you had a minute ago. I'm not sure the damn was entirely... Um... Justified. Hendrix notes. Right, let's just make sure. Yeah, it's exactly the same as what we heard, so that's alright. Oh, we're finishing the Guardian completion. Connection, even. So we've got a couple of new quests. Let's have a look. Hunting a witch is level 5, so that might be the first one we do. That's level 6, so we'll do that later. They're level 7. Yeah, so hunting a witch. The notes left by Hendrik, the Nilfgaardian agent, mentioned that Siri had quarreled with some witch and that the newt steward in question could be found near the village of Midcops, exactly where Gerald did not know, and so he was forced to swallow his manly pride and ask the locals for directions. So let's do that. Didn't gain anything there, did we? Or there? Okay. Okay, Roach, uh, you're over here somewhere, aren't you? There you? You were. Ah, there you are. Didn't move for once. 
Find the witch on your own or, or ask the residents of Midcops about her. How far away is Midcops from here? Quite the distance. Eight hundred and forty eight paces, apparently. All right, let's go. Sooner we start, sooner we finish the journey. I mean, What did I just say to you guys about running out into the road? You're gonna get knocked down. Whoa, 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 bandit cam. Okay, let's deal with that. Ooh, bloody hell. Firing at me already, I haven't done anything yet. Um, I don't think I've got a potion I can use for them. Oh, and I didn't do my de decoction, I should have done that when I had a chance. All right, I must remember to do it as soon as we've had this fight. In the meantime, we'll have a bit of Quen, Igni ready. Don't run at them, Roach. Who's firing the arrows? So much for my shield. Bloody trees in the way as well, that didn't help matters. Hey, knocked the door open for me, that was nice. Oh, it is working. Okay. <laughs> Where was Igni when I needed it? Okay. Cool, 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 cool. What else we got? Winds howling. Come on, Roach. We're not finished yet. Let's go. Well, that's one little question mark taken off the map. One of millions, or so it seems. Whoa! I don't know. You sound pretty capable. What's the problem? Help an old feeble woman. Feeble? Each other night blasphemers, pops taken, profane the shrine to Verna the Merciful. Shrine's gotta be repaired, else Verna will take umbrage. Our cows will croak, the kitties will be covered in warts, and our dogs will get the mange. Okay. Warts and mange? Sounds dangerous. Fine, I'll help you. It's not like you've got anything better to do after all, eh? Done. The good gods have sent ye to me. Someone to repair their shrines from this day on. Look, uh, already whoa. got a trade. I'm a witcher. Restoring traditional roadside structures in wood, just not my specialty. Fight evil. That's a witcher's calling. And vandals are worse than beasts. If I see them, I'll fix them, but I'm not making any promises. Fine. I see any damaged shrines, I'll take care of them. Won't go out of my way, though. Nothing's out of the way in these parts. And the gods will guide ye. You look awful. Thanks. Defender of the faith. Where's that? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's level 10. All right, it's going to be a little while before we get to that then.
Well, this long journey is a... Uh... Oh, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I was going to meditate, wasn't I? Um, this long journey does seem to be broken up by its share of distractions. And... Uh, no, I'm going to hold off on the decoction until I get into a battle. Now that I've meditated and it's revitalised, I can put it on at a moment's notice. Right, is this mid cox? Black bow. Alright, well, we'll do some shopping while we're here. Buying or just perusing? Don't know until I see what you've got. Oh, he's a Gwent player. Okay. Roach, don't eat the goods. Don't eat the goods. Show me what you've got on offer. Um. Aldebert Kermit's first map. We'll have a look at that. Right, what will you have? I don't want to sell you that stuff. I want to sell them to a blacksmith. Can't sell you any of that. Um, you can have some of this stuff. Since I seem to have an overabundance of it. You can have the raw meat. And you can have the lager. You can certainly have all my junk. Well, as much as you can pay for anyway. You're not exactly rolling in it, are you? Oh, you got it all. Okay. And I'm not giving you any of that. So, uh, yeah, let's play. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. Let's go. Always play this Nilf Guardians. Uh, get rid of that. Oh, you. So and so. Oh, good. Two fours. Uh, no, they're not called fours, are they? They're called blue stripes and a spy. It's not too bad. Let me just check his leader ability. Pick a torrential rain card from your deck and play it instantly. Right, so we better hold off on our weather clearing ability for now. Not sure what use the dummy. Whoa! Now, why would he do that? Not going to argue. One man to me, and I get another card there as a result. Or not. Well, I might as well go go for broke now, hadn't I? Uh, I won't put both of these up just yet in case he's got a Scorch card that he's hiding. I've been burnt by that before. And I'll keep the decoy in case he's got spies of his own that he hasn't played yet. Seems fairly even so far. Thing is, he's got to win two rounds, and I've only got to win the one. So you'll assume he doesn't want to use all these cards up in one go, whereas I do. So he needs to pass at some point, and I don't. That makes sense. So as long as I keep up with him or ahead of him, as the case may be right now, I should be all right. Uh, I was waiting for this. Not going to panic on that though, we'll wait for now. Clear it out right at the end. There we go. See, that was, that was daft really, wasn't it? He's, that's it, he's just, he basically conceded. Well, 
I'm a bit sadistic, so I'm just going to go for it. And now, that, put that final now in his coffin. 60 to 29. Comfortable win. Okay, what just happened? Wait! Oh, you stupid, stupid man! I got this completely backwards, didn't I? Because he was the one that won the. <laughs> I gave him the spies so and he got the points, therefore. <laughs> oh, therefore, he won the first round. <laughs> what a muppet. Oh, completely got that wrong. <laughs> right, I'm not having that. That was embarrassing. Buy in or just peruse it? That oh no Show me no, what you've no. got on offer. Go back. That was <laughs> That was the definition of overconfidence. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. <laughs> right, let's try that again. And we'll get it right this time. It means I won't make a profit, I'll only break even if I win. But uh Oh dear me, what a muppet. Right, play the spy, he gets the points. Okay, could have been better. Don't want to pass this time, I can't say as I blame you. Right, so if I do this card, add in one to the eight, that should put me above him on nine. Uh, put the catapult on nine, which gives me ten in total. Right, so I've definitely won this one. Okay. Lord have mercy. What was I thinking? You, <laughs> you guys must have been cringing watching that. What a nightmare. Okay, so now, this time, I can go for it. Um... Mm, no, I've saved the decoy. I was going to take out the medic and maybe use her again later. If he, if he has a Scorch card and gets rid of one of my cards, I could possibly bring it back. But on the other hand, if he plays a Spy, it's probably more important I use the decoy on that. Right, so this time I'm just going to go for it because I'm not looking to play a third round. And I think this time I'd be in the right to do so. There we go, one spy. Excellent. I will take that. Thank you very much. Right, so your leader ability will take care of that last section. You're going to make all the cards worth one? Oh, you've got another spy, you sneaky so-and-so. I can't do anything about that. He's definitely stringing this round out. 
And mind you, he doesn't have a choice. He, he is actually 1-0 down. Even with all the weather effects, I'm still beating him. I'm gonna use your no, I was gonna say, if you're gonna use your leader ability, now's the time. Yes. Okay, sixty-nine to thirty-one. <sighs> Redemption. Sort of. I've got another merchant up here. Oh, I've got a monster card. M. Lewis. It's a special one as well. Look at that. Fantastic. Hello, oh, mate. You got anything for me? Greetings. Salutations. Whither do you come from, and where will you go? Hard to say. Seen a lot of the world and plan to see more. As have I, as do I. Dangerous place to be traveling, isn't it? Not the best place for a traveling peddler. Profits lie amidst risk. True, the wars brought strife and hardship, but folk live on, and where there is life, there is trade. Prepared to risk your life for a bit of coin? Coin, my friend, is of little import. Hard as I try, I simply cannot remain still, so I wander and wander the world. I see new places, speak with folk I've never known. It's what I like, and that's worth the risk. Well, I hope it's worth it for you. Take a peek if you don't mind. And that's all I'm taking because I ain't got nothing worth buying. Farewell. We'll meet again. I know this. All right. And up here we've got a blacksmith. Now yeah. you I can sell a lot Perhaps of stuff special to. order weapons too. Do politicians murder high class prostitutes? Ouch. Of course. Oh, he's a Gwent player as well. Okay, first things first. I'll take a look. Maybe pick something. Ah, another map. I didn't read that last one actually. We've got a look at that. I'll take that as well. Oh, here we go. Alderbert Kamis second map. So we can read them both together. In the meantime, you you've got a fair bit of coin. You might be able to buy some of this. Ah, oh, damn. Uh, well, let's do some repairs. That'll give you some money back. Not much, but a little bit. Which I can then take back from you by selling you more stuff. Win-win for me, anyway. Oh, you can have that. How much you got left? Three. Hmm. Okay. That'll do for now. Do you want to play cards? I'm good, honest. <laughs> Up for a few rounds of Gwent. See if I can get it right first time this time. Oh, he's playing Northern Realm, same as me, okay. Oh, excellent. We've got the two blue stripes. We've got a spy and we've got a medic. It's pretty good, actually. Oh, does that mean he's got a lot of range cards to pull up? Okay, so he's 10 ahead of me now already.
Right. I don't really want to be using my weather card, my uh, leader ability on the first round if I can help it. I will if I have to though. Oh, what's he doing? Alright, let's have a look what his leader ability is. Impenetrable Fog. So he could do all three in one go, if he so desired. See, on the other hand, he might not use that until the second round, which is why I need to hold off. One more mid-range card to use and then I'm going to be a bit scuppered. Mind you, he's only got three cards left. How far are you going to push this? Oh. Now, I definitely don't want to use my leader ability because that means he's still got his for the second round. Ah. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Good call. Hurrah! So, first we do this. Oh, and he's going to do the same thing, and he's going to do the spire. Well, that ruins what I was going to do next, but I'll have that. Thing is, it was mine to start with anyway. And you can have it back. Why, why would you do that? Just concede. And he didn't use his leader ability in the end anyway. Oh. Wait, don't get the up with me. It's not my fault you lost. Ronald Ip Metzen. I didn't mean to do that, that's the wrong button. Ah, there we go. Your Guardian card. Cool, 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 cool. Come on, Roach, let's go. Come on. We've got a witch to find. Don't run over the dog or the kid. There we go. Okay. Oh boy. These are bandits, aren't they? Yep. Need odd. Oh, hang on. Oh, I, thought, I thought you were just going to go away and leave me alone for a second there. Doesn't look like your mates have noticed you've disappeared. Let's go. Oh, whoa. Go, go. Tell if you love the gods. Germ. 
horseback fighting. Never done this before. Oh, nice. What about you? You want some? It's a bit harder when they know that you're coming. <laughs> I feel like I'm jousting. All right, enough of this. Oh, he tagged me. That's for giving me so much trouble. There is something moving around over there. Guarded treasure. Oh, okay. They look relatively creepy. No. Let's, um,. Well, we need to know what level they are, really, don't we? Nine. That's the same as us, isn't it? Okay, they're not attacking. Why, why aren't they attacking? Oh, never mind. Wow, there's quite a few of them. Dregas and Dregas. Oh, there's a big boy over there. Oh, no, no, no. When I said. Ocean in Drago Warrior. Oh, he caught fire, yes. Oh, die. There we go. Enhanced Dragon's Dream, excellent. Right, what the hell? was that insectoids start with the workers I thought the workers were harmless I thought wrong Jane the gimp trapper <laughs> workers are the most numerous and thus the most frequently encountered cast of Indrega within the colony their duty lies in building nests and cocoons acquiring food and caring for eggs and larvae when threatened they will summon warriors to aid them yet if forced to defend themselves they will and do so surprisingly well. Mostly because there's so many of them, they swarm you. Indrega Warriors. Scared of these Indrega, are you? Just wait till you see the Warriors. Klaus Altman, Forrester. Endless waves of Indrega workers are enough to overcome most attackers, but when confronting more dangerous foes, Indrega colonies unleash their larger, stronger members, the so called Warriors. This caste lives only to fight and gets ample opportunity to do so while defending the colony's borders or conquering new territory. Ugh. Although you've got to assume they didn't do all this. Killed the people, maybe, but they didn't knock down the structure, whatever that was originally. What do we have here? Be warned, some backstabbing cowards have deserted Crow's Perch and now prowl these lands in small bands of a few yellow-bellied cutthroats each. Travellers passing through, keep on your guard. 
I suspect I've just met them and killed them. They may not be the only ones, though. Okay, we will get to this witch eventually. Or mid cops, rather. Aha, here we go. That looks like a village to me. Well, I'll there, leave Rose. you outside. Stay there. I'll come and get you in a minute. Another merchant, but first, the notice board. Hands off my plums. Hmm. If I catch anybody taking plums from my orchard, I'll cleave him in two with my axe. Don't say I didn't warn you. Wenceslas. Quiet after dark. Take heed not to wander about after dark, nor make any unnecessary racket. Keep your windows covered if you burn a candle, and don't throw any damp branches li likely to smoke onto the fire. We have enough trouble in the village without attracting more, the alderman. Looking for work. We'll do any job for a bowl of soup or a scrap of bread. I've done a bit of coopering and carpentry and have my own tools. Bolo. Don't eat cats. What? You need to be told this? Kind people. Don't eat cats. It brings horribly ill luck. After I brewed a broth from a she-cat, next day I twisted my ankle in, in the field. It's clear they speak truth, saying cats are creatures soaked in foul magic and copulating with witches and seek revenge from beyond the grave. Mindy. Contract. Jenny of the woods. Hark. Some devilry's taken hold of our fields. Something neither spirit nor phantom. Old Will swears on his mother's grave it's like to be Jenny of the woods. Whether it is or it ain't, be careful and don't go out in the fields alone, and most certainly not without sigh or rake in hand. But if you have the courage to drive the foul thing off, you'll receive a handsome reward. Olko, Alderman of Midcots. Keep away from the Nilf Guardians. I'll shear the hair off any trollop who fraternises with the Nilf Guardians, so her boldness will proclaim her shame to all and I'll carve the face of any peddler who deals with the Black Ones or provides them a service. A patriot. Big words from someone who doesn't want to be named. Right, let's have a look at that Jenny of the Woods contract. Level 10. Okay, that's a way off. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Damn it. Didn't mean to do that. First of all, quests go back to hunting a witch. And what I was going to do was read those maps. But I guess I'll just have to do it the old fashioned way through the inventory. First map, here we go. While conducting studies under the guidance of Professor Slavko Atimstein, I happened across four places where carved engravings portraying the sign of the Cat School of Witches could be found. All these pictograms are identical to that which we discovered in the caverns beneath the Temple Isle in Novigrad. I have marked them on this map. Alderbert Kermith, a junction in natural history at the Oxenford Academy. Second map. There are more locations marked with the cat's head pictogram than we had suspected. Yet each remains identical to the one we found in the caverns under Temple Isle in Novigrad. I have marked their locations on this map. Okay. So is that going to give us uh, a scavenger hunt quest, I take it? Yep, cat school gear. Not scavenger hunt, treasure hunt. You knew what I meant. Oh, it's given us a few. Okay, so that's level 17. 
And then the upgrade to 23. Long, long way off. Hey, merchant. An amulet. A bazaar. Some tortoise shells. No. Oh, another Gwen player. Okay. What else you have on offer? Corpse teeth and kidney stones. Tried remedies for trying times. If you say so. Oh, look at this. We have some more Gwent cards. Don't mind if I do. I don't know that I've got anything to sell you, though. Um... Can have those and the maps. That's about it. So long. But let me sort out these new Gwent cards before I play you. Another one of them, fantastic. And Morton scene. Hey, don't go anywhere, don't go anywhere, dude! I'm trying to talk to you. An amulet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's play. Let's play cards. Gwent wouldn't be bad. Um, there we go. Oh, I've added a card, so I'm going to need to take out one of these. Um, yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh, he's playing the monster deck. That's not good. Oh, no spies. Got the medic, which will come in handy second round, but... Um, hmm... This one could be tough. Of course, the good thing about the monster deck is that they don't have any spies either, so... That's something. They do have these, though. Should be grateful that was only a two. Nice. The monster deck is the better looking of the decks, I have to say. Um, one of us is going to have to pass soon, you know that, didn't you? Ah, there we go. Phew. That's all I'm going to say to that. Excellent. Fantastic. Okay, so let's start by getting back those two catapults. Ballistas, I beg your pardon. Oh, he didn't have any more of those. That's a relief. And that's the other one. got two more cards. I don't know if he's got any weather cards. Oh, and Dregers. <laughs> yeah, we just found them, didn't we? But I think we've won this one. Unless he pulls something drastic out of his hat. Oh, that's uh, unfortunate for him because the cards I've got don't go in that area. Sorry, mate. Nice try, though.
Oh, all right. I was wondering why it didn't automatically finish, but uh, it knew I still had the option to play my leader card. Okay, two straight rounds, fantastic. What are you going to give me? Tour reveal. That sounds like a, yeah, square tail card. Cool, cool. Um, right, so you didn't know anything about the witch because I've talked to you and you didn't give me any options. What are you looking at? Stop bothering us poor folk. Nope, can't talk to you. God's preserve you. You've seen me muscles. <laughs> Announcement by order of the commander of the Nilf Guardian Army Group Center Camp. Residents of the villages of Midcops and Black Bow are hereby re required to report to the camp near Midcops in order to perform labour for the Empire. These, those called evading their duties shall be flogged. Lists of designated residents and their assigned days of service have been provided to the village aldermen. Can't talk to you. I assume the kids. Oh, wait, what do we have here? For the rest. Well, she can't beat bread and stone either. Oh, come on, this new one's not half bad. Short tongue on her, but she helps when there's a need. She can't fill our guts with spells. Besides, she's got no warts. She's not cut And what's a witch with no grey on her head? Not much likely to be inside her. For one who never sees her, you seem to know a heap about her. I don't know what they say. Don't care much myself, but I think do. Uh huh. I think it's called gossip, but you seem to be the person I need to speak to. Should send him back to the witch. Might cure him of laziness. Greetings, ma'am. Good day to you, sir. Need something? Looking for the witch. Got a matter for your village witch. Know where I can find her? I don't bother with her myself. But ask my man. He'll know. Twerked his back so bad last week he could hardly move. So I sent him to the witch. Came back sprightly as a foal. Where is he? In the yard, no doubt. Pain's gone, but sleuth's set in now. Should be hunting foxberries to feed our young uns. Marion's lad. Now that man, he knows how to provide for his family. Caught some water rats last. They had food for days. Enough is enough. Okay. Oh, let's uh, do that. Armourer, let's talk. Oh, turn around, there we go. You ain't safe unless you got a Gabrielle. The auto crank one handed Gabrielle ensures you get the first shot and the last word. Okay, show me what you got. Let me have a look at your stock. More maps. And we'll take those as well. Edwin Greelof's first and second maps. Don't mind if I do. Right, you're going to take the rest of this then. That I need to equip. As soon as I remember. And you can take the old saddle as well. Um, at least I assume it's an old one, yep. Don't want the junk. Can have some of this though. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but whenever I get ingredients though in double figures, I like to keep at least 10 of them in case I need them and everything else I just sell as excess. These are all for herbalists, so I can't sell any of that. It's only 11, I'll take the hit. Because I'm gonna get it back anyway, hopefully. Let's play. 
Well, How about mostly. you take a break from hawking? We play cards instead. Nilf Guardian. Uh, get rid of Yarpen. Excellent. And Sabrina gives me an 8. Fantastic. And I've got a spy, but no medic this time around. Let me just quickly. Torrential rain. Right, okay. Spy first. Give me a medic. Thank you. No decoys. Mind if he plays any spies or if he plays a medic and uses my spy against me in the next round, I might be a bit scuppered. New Guardian Empire does have its fair share of spies. Yes, there we go. But I do have a medic so I can pull that back next round. And he's passed already, okay. Well, seeing as I'm winning, I will let him. Could have done with a decoy then, but okay. I'm going to uh, wait out before I use the medic and get that spy back. I'm going to see if he's got any more. Or if he's got a decoy or something like that. Use it in a minute. So far so good. I also want to try and pull ahead of him enough that when I do play the spy card, those seven points that he's going to gain doesn't put him ahead of me because then, you know, that's not very useful. Okay. I think it's safe now. He's only got two cards left. Oh my god, I've got rubbish ones. Mind you, that does have a use. Excellent. Oh, wasn't half as rubbish as what he had, as it turned out. Huzzah! Another player bites the dust. What have you given me? Shillard Sh Fitz Osterlund. Ah, I get to keep the spy. Okay. Fair enough. Right, are you the guy that knows about the witch? Good day. Heard you know where to find the local witch. Who told you that? Your wife. Daft wench. Leave me be, and don't listen to that nattering sow. We've not had a witch, shaman, nor cunning wench in ages. Uh, you might want to have a think about that. You sure? Give it a think. Won't take no for an answer, will ye? Ooh, all right. <laughs> know the small pond near the village? path leads off from it. Follow that till you come across a lone rock. Walk around that, then to the woods. Find the old cart. You're there. Thanks. It's just... Don't harm her, sir. Word of your kind's reached these parts. My kind, meaning? Well, 
the witch burning kind. Witch hunters have been here? Witch hunters have been here already? Nay, but we've heard tell of them. So, when I spied you coming, swords and all, straight away, I thought tales must be true. I'm a witcher, not a witch hunter. Hmm? What? Not one and the same? Not even close. No. Uh, don't worry, I won't do your witch any harm. No need to worry. I'm not out to hurt your witch. Ooh, a weight off me heart, sir. She only arrived a short while ago, but she's frightfully wise. Even pleasant on the eyes, if you like them skinny. Thanks for your help. Farewell. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take a break here. And when we come back, we will find this witch and see what she knows. Hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far. Click the like button if you have. Feel free to leave a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have, or even if you haven't, press the bell icon so you get notified of the next episode going online. And I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now.